Okay, good evening from uh, an almost sunny South Wales. It's a little bit overcast. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, about half past six, something like that now. Um, so um, I'm not going to wait for anyone to come on. So I will uh, do what needs to be done. Um, not going to be looking out for comments, so I'll catch up later on. But I thought I would do just a quick um, polytunnel walk. Um, just let you know exactly what's going on in with my grow at the moment. So I'm going to flip the camera around and work out how to do this. Just bear with me. Okay, so what have I got? Oh, there's, there's my pooch there. Um, so yeah, so polytunnel. If you remember, we've got a huge polytunnel going on. And hey guys. Um, so just a, just a quick nosy to see what's doing. Right, remember I said that uh, it's self-watering and it's all broken and whatever you have self-ventilating. Well, I didn't manage to get it all recovered, so yeah. So lots, lots of ventilation going on, uh, but we'll start in the corner here. So I've got Anna's cucumbers growing there. They're doing quite nicely there. Um, some small cucumbers coming through. Um, there's another one there. Um, a few more there. So that's I've got loads of flowers on there. So we yeah, will be eating cucumbers a lot. And there's a product coming at the end of the year with that. Um, that one's an interesting one. We've got a tomatillo. That's some growing that for Dan. Dan Reed, he does um, something with tomatillos. If you don't know anything about tomatillos, uh, they're like little green green tomatoes. Um, I haven't got any th coming through yet, but uh, that's one where the flower has... Oh, let's see if we can get it to focus. It's not going to focus. Hello, hello, focus. It's not going to focus. Um, but yeah, so later on in the season, they'll that'll be brimming with with little like greenish type tomatoes, but they're not tomatoes. Um, so, just move across here because I've actually got some ripe pods, which will probably surprise people. So yeah, so look at that. Woohoo, woohoo. Look at me, I can grow. Uh, however, I don't exactly know what this one is. Um, it could be one that Kevin has grown and he's given me. I'm not sure, but it looks... Ooh, I'm breaking it all here. Uh, it looks a little bit habanero-ish to me. I reckon they're going to be hot, though. Um, we've got them around by here. So this one is quite small and it's... Uh, out there and um, got a kang star type thing there um one of one of david's vanessa and um they're some of them as well and he's got two growing inside and they're doing really they're doing really good actually i mean we've got pods there um a pod there they'll just get heavy and they'll end up drooping over at some point um so yeah so pods um now this one's an interesting one because i definitely know what this is so this is a peach maruga, um, and this is not one that I've grown myself, which is why there's pods on it. So this has come from Kevin Tilly, but yeah, look at look at that bad boy. Certainly won't be pulling that one off to um, to try. There's another one here, uh, it's fairly small, but it's hiding in there. Then we've got some unripe pods coming through, and um, so they'll they'll be heading heading for Tana Dry, so you'll know um, how hot that one's going to be. Um, I've got here, we've just got a few, a few smaller anums. I think I've got some cashmere in there. And um, there could be some jalapeno, however. This one, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's got a rather large pod on there. I reckon that's probably um, a sweet pepper, which I don't think it should be. Um, uh, Poppy, don't eat, drink the water out of there. Um, okay, I've got some tomatoes here. So this is a tiger tomato, it's got wicked stripes on there. Uh, if enough grows, they go into a green tomato pickle later on. Um, some more tomato plants, we won't talk too much about those. Tomato plants, tomato plants. Um, I've got a habanero-ish plant growing there. Oh, and, yeah, some wildlife there for you, but sp spider. Um, what have I got over here? Oh, right, okay, so there's a Trinidad hornet there. I'm not sure if I've got any pods on this one. Again, this is a Kevin Tilly. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realise I had a pod on it. So, yeah, this is uh, Kevin Tilly. It's giving me this one. But, oh, God, look at that stinger. God, that looks quite evil. Um, so, again, this destined for Tana Drag. This one here, let's see if you can find, see the label there. It says, it's a Numex Lemon Spice. Now, loads of Loads of flowers, loads of flowers on there. However, again, this is another Kevin Tilly one. But Kevin, I've got a bit of an issue, mate. Right, New Mex Lemon Spice. Guess what? It's got a red, oh, it's red. 
um, but I've never had corking like that on a on a chili before, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, but I've just accidentally broken that off. But that's supposed to be yellow. And there you are. Um, and as I said, they're just David's Bonetta in there. Um, I'm just all just falling out the top poly tunnel then. Um, and so what we can do because we're all sort of like self ventilating and stuff, I can show you outside. And I can show you the um, the brew bulb. So. There you go. Um, so yeah, um, so that was just a um, that was just a quick walk around. Say that I'm not completely useless, but obviously, all the the super hot stuff had not been grown by me. Um, Kevin gave them to me when they were fairly small, but yeah. So yeah, look, I mean that's look at that. How nasty is that? Nasty, nasty, nasty. Anyway, guys, mwah, love to you all. Um, sorry, been a little bit quiet recently. It's been a bit, a bit crazy with cooking and trying to get some events squeezed in um, before the the bulk of the summer holidays. But uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Then, cheers, then.